hi guys welcome to my channel thank you so much for clicking it is Monday first of all if you're wondering why I'm in a Wendy's parking lot I came to Wendy's because I thought they sold a grilled chicken sandwich and they don't they have a grilled chicken wrap so now I'm here and I have to I have like so the reason I'm even here in the first place is because my daughter had a grandparents day event at her school so my mom I had to drop my mom off there so now I'm here just waiting for that to end or something I don't know I don't know what I'm gonna eat and I need to eat something because she has an appointment then my daughter has gymnastics I need to find something while I'm out to eat it's hard it's hard when you need to find something to eat and you're trying to stay on track it's hard it took a lot for me like not to just be like oh, okay y'all don't have the grilled fish sandwich give me crispy like that took a lot of willpower okay so i need to find something to eat i guess i think it's this area where i am right now i'm not gonna be able to find anything around here i, I ended up at milk and honey got fried lobster and grits and everybody else's food look delicious <laughs> my food look good too but now that i see their food i'm jealous it's really delicious Good morning. It's Wednesday. Actually, I never got back on camera last night after we came back from that restaurant or whatever. When I tell y'all that food was so salty, it was so salty. Like, I only ate one of the lobster tails and a couple spoons of the grits. I don't even like grits, but I really wanted the fried lobster tails. <sighs> I couldn't even eat it. Like, I still have it in the refrigerator, but it's so salty, I, I'm not gonna eat it. That's horrible. And that wasn't even the location Keith Lee went to that he complained about. This was the other location. Anyways, now I'm about to do my walking pad. But first, I want to put on this waist trainer. I keep telling myself every day, wear your waist trainer, wear your waist trainer. And I never get around to doing it. I'm finagling it because it keeps getting stuck to it. So. And it's like this whole three-part situation. So I gotta figure this out. All right, so I'm gonna start here. I like this waist trainer though because hold on, it has like a top, bottom, and middle, but you gotta find the parts. Oh, it goes to the other side. Okay. Um. Okay. So this is the top. I'm trying to wear it for eight hours a day at least. Wait, that's not right. Oh no, that is right. Okay. There we go. That's the top part. And now, the bottom part. Okay. I like it because it has the bottom part. So like the fupa area can come into it. And now, the middle part. Y'all. I'm about to get on my walking pad for a little bit of time. I just want to do a real quick grocery haul with y'all. I got an Instacart delivery and it just came. I got some Olipop. Guys, y'all know I love Olipop, but this is the shelf stable Olipop, and it better taste as good as the other one. I don't know who told them to start doing this, but I would rather just keep the you know the one in the refrigerator because if that tastes anything like poppy, I don't like poppy. I got these, these are for the kids, but they're very good. I'll eat these sometimes. The air fried chicken breast nuggets. And these are very tasty. They taste better than the regular ones. Croutons because I'm gonna be having shrimp Caesar salad for lunch this week. Today I just had my pesto eggs because I didn't have nothing else. I didn't have nothing else to really prepare but this is what I'm gonna be having for the rest of the week. Salad. So of course I got lettuce. The lettuce, artichoke hearts. Tonight I wanna make the spinach dip 
pasta. So I got some of these artichoke hearts to add to it. This bread, I love this bread. I like to keep it on hand. This is the best tasting keto bread to me, in my opinion. Six grams of net carbs, 45 calories per slice. I like to keep that on hand just in case I need something quick, a sandwich or whatever. And like tonight, I'm going to use sourdough bread that I had from last week to make everybody garlic bread with the food I'm making tonight. But I'm going to use that bread for myself to make a garlic bread for myself. Lemonade for the kids. My absolute favorite Caesar dressing. Brianna's Asiago Caesar dressing. Spinach. This is the garlic spread I like to use for my garlic bread. You could just make it yourself, but... This tastes really good and it's easy. Some, I probably should have got two of these. I thought this was going to be bigger than what it is. The whipped cream cheese to use in my um, spinach dip pasta. I got some flank steak. This is the best steak, one of the best steaks, low fat steak that you could eat while you are dieting and things like that. This package is broken. I'm hoping that just happened in the bag, but um, I'm going to cook it so. But yeah, I ordered two of these. He only got one. I think he thought I ordered two by mistake or something. But no, I needed two packages because it's a lot of us. So I'm going to have to actually go get more of that, which is annoying. Shrimp for my shrimp salad, obviously. Shells for my pasta. Orange juice. I should probably drink some of this, but my mom is starting to feel sick now. So she got some orange juice. But I should probably drink some because... Half and half, I'm gonna use half and half instead of cream, heavy cream. I'm gonna to try to start using half and half in my recipes that calls for heavy that call for heavy cream because lower calories, stuff like that. But I do have some heavy cream already in the refrigerator just in case. And then bread for the kids. They could eat the other bread too, but they love this butter bread. Everybody in my house loves this butter bread. But I obviously not eating that let's see what the difference in calories it is 60 calories per slice that's not a huge difference but it's enough of a difference especially if you're eating two slices then it's a huge difference which obviously you have in a sandwich is going to be two slices so yeah and the carbs carbs 12 grams that is a big difference okay anyways y'all that's my little grocery haul and I gotta go out later now. I'm gonna have to try to get some um, more steak. And I didn't order any fruits. <laughs> like I just, it totally slipped my mind to order any fruits. Yesterday, I wanted to record me cooking dinner, but I ended up not getting done with dinner till 11 o'clock. And I knew I was starting so late. Yes, 11 o'clock at night. I knew that I was starting so late that if I had used the camera, if I had recorded, I would have never like I would have been cooking till 1 a.m. So yeah, but luckily everybody else ate. My husband was like, um, you're no, you're not gonna be done cooking in time. Like, no, we gotta eat. So they all ate. <laughs> they ate out. But I was like, no, I'm not eating out. I'm eating what I plan to make. I made spinach dip pasta, it was really good. And I showed y'all already in my grocery haul the alternatives I did to make it lower calorie. Hold on, I'm boiling some eggs. Boiling eggs because I'm about to make my shrimp Caesar salad. But yeah, I'm disappointed I didn't get to show y'all that. But it's so many TikTok videos on how to make the uh, spinach dip pasta. But you could just change some things out to make it a little less high in calorie and fat and stuff like that. But it was delicious with the steak. Mm. About that waist trainer, I, I just, I can't do it. I had to take it off. I need to get consistent with it. By the way, y'all, I have tennis tonight. They make tennis two days a week now. So it's today and tomorrow. I want to go both days, but because of my schedule, I might not be able to. But if I can make it both days, do you know how many calories I will burn? How many steps I will get if I go to tennis two days this week? And then on this weekend, hopefully I get a chance to play again. Well, we might be doing some stuff this weekend. But anyways, that would be amazing amazing i'm excited though i love to y'all know that already and let me um start making my salad i don't know if it was fireworks or gunshots but the bird is in the air
these shirts look so freaking good oh my gosh i can't wait to eat them up here like i got a sponsorship or something but like i dead ass drink olipop every day i love olipop i really feel like that's one of the things that's making a difference in my overall journey is olipop i don't know it's crazy how much i like it but i really only like two flavors so that's the other funny part okay i'm about to eat my lunch before i go pick up my daughter and watch a little bit of outlast because I started watching the show. I am hooked to it. I feel like maybe I could have used a little less dressing because it's overpowering the shrimp, and the shrimp is so good. I didn't need this much dressing. I should have chilled. Just arrived at tennis. I forgot my headband. I forgot to put my earrings on. I'm just here. Okay, I'm just here. I don't see anybody yet, so I'm just gonna chill in the car till. Oh, my coach just got here. I am gonna record today, y'all. So y'all can actually see what I be doing. Honestly, I'm I was walking. I walked past my man and he was like, oh, I can see you're getting thinner. You look smaller. And I was like, what? Because I ask him all the time, can you tell him you're like, can you see it? Can you tell him? like, no, no, not really. But then yesterday, suddenly he could see it. That means the two hours I wore my waist trainer the other day worked. So, we back to it. <laughs> Try to wear it longer today. But I don't know how I'm eating it. I absolutely cannot sit down in it. I can't work out in it. I can't do nothing in it, really. You hear it? It's already wanting to pop open. But I'm going to wear it for as long as I can. I don't know, I think maybe when I sit down, I gotta just work on my posture. That's probably the issue. I probably have really bad posture. But I feel like today is a groundhog day because I'm doing exactly what I did yesterday. Having the same lunch, I'm going to tennis lessons, and having the same dinner, I think. I've been thinking about maybe going out and getting something, but I think I'm having the same exact thing. And y'all know last night, I was so exhausted. I didn't even feel like talking too much. I was just tired. I feel like I did really bad at tennis yesterday. I just feel like it was, I don't know, maybe it was because I was getting over the cold. I just feel like I just didn't do my best. So hopefully it's not canceled today because it is raining right now. And then last night, so I only ate half of my pasta. I had like a cup of pasta on my plate and I only ate half of it because I could not resist that sourdough garlic toast. It looks so good 
and it was so good like but i don't think it was that bad because i only ate half a cup of pasta and then i had my protein where are we at and y'all i think my fitbit is burning my wrist let me show y'all real quick i gotta show y'all quick so i can put it back on and count my steps can y'all see that it's a burn mark on my wrist right there what the heck but i googled it and it could be several things so it could also be a reaction because sometimes i do take a shower with it on i try not to but sometimes i forget um and i just feel like that's an opportunity to clean it anyway but most of the time i don't and i don't sleep in it really it does do sleep tracking but i don't really sleep in it but um But anyways, it said online it could be a reaction to whatever soap you use, which is weird. Like the watch could be reacting to the soap and causing irritation to your skin. So hot. So yeah, after I get off here, I'm gonna have my lunch. Just checking in. I want to start getting on here first thing in the morning, though. I want to start waking up early. And I was up super early this morning, but I was tired, so I went back to sleep. I want to start waking up like really early. I'm talking about early. I just don't know if I can do it. I like my sleep, but I feel like I would have such a better productive day and better workouts if I was able to just get up and especially do it before the kids were up and just get everything in I needed to get in. Especially on non-tennis days, because I want to do my strength training on non-tennis days. So, we gotta work on it. Y'all, I just recorded a bunch of, um, a long thing and it was recording in slow mode. I never even did that on this camera before, so I don't even really know what that means. But anyways, we got rained out at tennis. Tennis usually ends at Eight. We ended up having to leave a half an hour earlier than our usual ending time, which sucks. I was gonna go to Gusto to get my drink, but they pushed back the opening date. The, a new location opened that's close to where I play tennis at, and they pushed the opening date back for it. So now it's not even open. I'm not driving to the other one, and I was looking forward to getting my drink. So now I'm just gonna go home, eat my meal prep, I think I'm gonna stop eating salads for lunch because then like I don't have nowhere to go tennis after tennis on Thursdays I always go and get me a nice little a little eat out somewhere but now it's like if I go anywhere I just had a salad for lunch and that's basically where I go I go to Salada I get a salad I go to Kaba I get a spinach bowl I go to um where else I be going now I go to sweet green I would get a salad probably oh but they do have that honey barbecue chicken thing or whatever it's called hot barbecue hot chicken whatever it's really good oh they do have that no i'm gonna go home i'm gonna just go home just go home that is really good from sweet green can't even remember what it's called but anyways i just feel like playing tennis i'm getting so good my backhand is crazy getting so good like not crazy like oh it's amazing but it's just like how much I've advanced and improved I used to miss every backhand and now I don't miss my backhands my serve is getting so good and the only thing I feel like that's holding me back in tennis where I feel like I could really be like really good is my weight like honestly and it's not like you can't play tennis while you're overweight but let's be real I'm bigger than everybody out there so I'm not getting to the ball as fast as I could you know and I see that like I'm like damn I could get to the ball if only I could just move a little faster and it's hard to move this much weight quickly so it's like I'm running but I'm not running at the pace everybody else is running like other people run they're running but me I'm like kind of more like jogging and then I get of course I'm gonna get more tired earlier and I don't like that like I have to get this weight. I was telling my coach I was like I have to get this weight off of me because I know I can get to the ball faster <laughs> like but the thing is he wants to start a team 
and I'm like, damn, I really want to join the team. And I even talked to him, and he was like, yeah, like, it doesn't matter your weight, whatever, you can join the team. But I wouldn't want to hold the team back by being like, if we're playing doubles, and like, I'm not pulling my weight, I'm not getting to the ball, you know? I just think about that. Maybe that's something, my own insecurity, but that's just what I'm thinking. Like, it's going to be four of us, and I'm the heaviest, and I'm the one that's missing because I can't get to the ball fast. That's not, that's not right to my teammate but I don't know I don't know I don't I also don't want to hold myself back because of my weight but at the same time maybe I need to just wait till like next year to join the team I don't know my team is not even formed yet and I'm already overthinking it yeah I just I really love tennis so much like, I would love to be on the team I would love to start playing competitively I had no idea that when I started playing tennis I was going to literally like fall in love with it like this I just love it so much but y'all it sucks we ended a half an hour early I'm thinking like maybe when I get home I still need to work out because I weighed myself today I've been trying not to step on the scale every single day because I have a tendency to do that and like it kind of helps me to see if I'm on track I weighed myself today and I'm back at 315 y'all 315 and that like my heart started panicking i'm like no i gained two pounds oh i forgot to tell y'all see and i'll be meaning to tell y'all stuff and i just i'll be forgetting the other day remember he didn't bring me enough steak the guy didn't bring me enough steak so i went to um i went to publix to get me another steak and while i was there I saw the sunflower season. I feel like that's why I need to stay out the store because I really have been doing so well. Haven't had any sunflower season a month. And then I saw it and I was like, oh, I'm gonna just get one bag. One bag won't hurt. And so I just got one bag. I used to buy like five bags at a time. Okay. So I'm like, one bag won't hurt. And I ate the bag of sunflower seeds. And I literally feel like that's why. Okay. So obviously, one bag of sunflower seeds did not make me gain two pounds. But there's so much sodium in sunflower seeds that it causes water retention and now that i ate them i want more <laughs> it's kind of like crazy to say this and i don't mean to be insensitive or anything but it kind of feels like a relapse so it's like i didn't have it and then i had it and now i just been thinking about sunflower seeds since the day i had them the other day and i should not have done that and i'm like damn <laughs> now i really want more sunflower seeds and i'm like should i just get some and get like a big bag get it out my system but that's crazy right that's crazy tell me that's crazy but I think that's why the scale went up why did I do that why do I keep doing this to myself like why did I do that why did I do that also I feel like I wasn't drinking enough water because I was sick and when I'm sick I don't really want to drink anything I don't know the feeling of drinking things while I'm sick it's very weird to me I've I've always been like that like I don't want to drink anything <laughs> so I really wasn't drinking water like I should have been drinking water and yeah I know I definitely definitely have to hydrate myself right now because I failed on my water intake last week so or not last week over the weekend I should go home and maybe do a little bit of something because I didn't get the full workout I was supposed to get maybe get on my walking pad but I highly doubt I'm gonna do that it's raining it is dreary outside, so this just makes me want to go home, chill, lay up under my man and watch TV. Like, that's what I want to do. So that's probably what I'm going to do. That's what I'm going to do. Yeah, that sounds real good. That's what I'm going to do. But tomorrow morning, I'm going to get up and I'm going to do a dumbbell hip workout. I haven't really done one since I started recording this um, series. So... I'm going to show y'all me doing that tomorrow. I love it. I just feel like because I'm doing tennis and all this stuff, sometimes I just don't get around to doing that because I it doesn't take a long time to do. It's just like, it's intense. It's really intense. So it's like I got to get in my mind. Like my mind has to get prepared to really go for it. <laughs> so but I'm going to show y'all because I really want to start doing that three days a week. Every day that I don't do tennis, I want to do that. And it's raining, so I can't go outside. Like, I can't go play tennis anywhere. It's raining, it's gonna rain all weekend. I can't go outside to do anything. I'm gonna have to do my at-home workouts and really go in with that and try to get my 10,000 steps throughout the weekend. And I keep hearing, here I go, y'all. I'm literally rambling, I'm so sorry. 
10,000 steps is just an arbitrary number. You don't have to get 10,000 steps. Well, how many steps should I get? Because at the end of the day, a person that isn't active, giving them that goal, that number of 10,000 steps is going, you're going to probably burn 4,000 calories a day with 10,000 steps. It's like, what is the problem? What's the problem if people want to get 10,000 steps? <laughs> like, what's the problem? And then they'll be like, instead of trying to get 10,000 steps, you need to walk or you need to run. You need to try to do at least five miles. Okay, it's the same thing. So if I want to say I'm getting 10,000 steps a day, okay, I'm getting 10,000 steps a day. You could call it miles. I'm going to call it steps. I'm getting my 10,000 steps a day, okay? You don't have to worry about it. If you if, Don't worry about it, sweetheart. If that's not for you, that's not for you. But leave people alone. Like, I keep seeing that on videos when people are talking about their 10,000 steps. Or, like, people are talking about, um, you know, just on Instagram Reels or YouTube, whatever. And they're talking about it. They're like, that's just a made-up number that people made up to sell pedometers. Well, it works. And I've seen it working for a lot of people. Like, a lot of people. <laughs> There's enough proof to people individual experiences that I've seen of people saying how much how much weight they lost ooh <clears throat> why am I getting worked up over this how much weight they lost or how many um you know just how their life changed from getting that arbitrary number so okay that's what some of us want to do like that's what we want to aim for leave us alone all right rant over okay y'all <laughs> I don't know why I just went off like that I wasn't going off on you it's just some people online that be, you know, in other people's business. But okay, let me um, let me go ahead and get home. Look what I just got in the mail. My new Hoka or Hoka sneakers, black on black. I had to get me a black pair because the other pair I had were very comfortable and I love them so much but they didn't go with everything so I had to get a black pair because y'all know I wear black a lot and also just it'll go with more things but I got the Clifton 9 I thought because I just based it on looks I didn't realize that I had the bondies and I like the bondies a lot so we're gonna see how I feel about the Clifton I feel like these look thinner they, are, they feel so lightweight. I got wide as well. I'm gonna wear them today because I need to break them in before I actually go to play tennis or do any running or whatever. I don't wanna like just run in them. So I think I told y'all, me and another parent are taking the kids to the Sky Zone tonight from her school. So I'm just gonna be there walking around. So I'm just gonna wear these to break them in. I just left my daughter's soccer game and we had a long walk so I'm already at 3,000 steps because we had a lot of walking to do to and from the parking lot and then I was pacing while I was there on purpose to get some more steps and now we're at a brunch restaurant called Grits and Eggs and I'm looking at the menu I feel like this is the hardest part because it's like I really want to get fried catfish Yes. or fried chicken or something fried or I want a waffle or pancake but I'm going to get the Maryland Crab Cake Benedict I never had Eggs Benedict but that's what I'm going to get and I'm going to treat myself a mocha frostino I got a small mocha frostino it's like a frappuccino or whatever but I haven't had a frappuccino in like a month and I love frappuccinos I used to get them like once or twice a week so <laughs> and I haven't had one since when I had that cheat day I shouldn't have done <laughs> so I'm just going to treat myself to that for today and yeah I'm going to get the crabs vinegar digs and hopefully somebody else hint hint hopefully somebody else orders something like fried catfish and I'll just taste theirs <laughs> I changed my mind and I ended up just getting the crab cakes not the crab cakes benedict because I never had that and I just didn't want to be disappointed um, so I just got the crab cakes and it, I got eggs and home fries and it came with a biscuit 
y'all i'm out here at tennis and guess what i forgot my camera we just played a game a full game so we're taking a break for a little second um but yeah i'm so mad i forgot my camera about my tripod everything forgot my camera but i'm doing really good today i wish i could show y'all and it's it's rainy out here but we still get into it see the courts it is rain it's not raining right now but it's wet because it rained earlier it's like drizzling right now i'm so mad i forgot my camera so y'all could see how good i'm doing all right <laughs> i'm so sorry i forgot my camera y'all so if the quality is not what y'all are used to it's just temporary anyways we are about to go to sweet green and then gusto <laughs> to get the drink i like from there and also i have to go to Publix to get those other drinks i told y'all about the dr d's probiotics i didn't get any this week and so i need to go get some of those for this weekend this is my sweet green bowl from last night i only ate half of it i got the caramelized grilled steak bowl it came with steak sweet potatoes rice spicy broccoli and then i asked them to give me mushrooms instead of tomatoes it's really good i really think sweet green is becoming one of my favorite places to go i just wanted to show y'all that because i never showed y'all yesterday and this is half of it but i did get double meat because y'all know i'm doing high protein so i did get double meat but it was really filling and i like it I also wanted to tell y'all about ClassPass because I just found out about it and I signed up for it yesterday. I don't know how it's going to go yet. I'm going to try to do my first class on Monday. But it's basically this thing where you just pay and you get credits to go to classes at different places. So you don't have to have like a gym membership. And one of the things I really like on there is that they have gym hours. So basically you can use your credits just to go use an hour at the gym. So that'll be good for me because I told you I want to start strength training in the gym. But I really don't know about getting a gym membership if it's worth it because I don't think I'll be able to go often enough to make a gym membership worth it. And I also just feel like I do really good with classes. So I think the class class is going to be really good for me. We'll see. I'm going to try it out. I'll let y'all know, of course. But I'm going to start trying it um, this coming week. I already signed up for a dance class. So we're going to see how that goes. But yeah, right now we're just on the way to the park. We're taking the kids to the park. And my daughter is going to be doing some soccer drills. And I'm going to try to do it with her <laughs> for just for some exercise. It's Sunday, so I didn't really have anything planned as far as exercise goes. But let me put my seatbelt on. How about when we got to the park, the baby was sleeping. So I couldn't even get out of the car. I had to let him sleep. I didn't want to deal with a crazy baby. So I didn't even get out of the car. I slept the whole entire time. Now we are at Cheddar's. And so y'all probably seem like I just ate, but it's probably been like three hours, three or four hours. Because it took us an hour to get here. So it's been a long time. It's kind of early for dinner, but I'm not going to eat again after this. It's only 6.45. And I don't usually eat this early. But maybe I'll try to eat like half of my food and then save the rest. Because I don't want to eat again. I don't, I don't want to get another meal. Right now I have a Caesar salad. I replaced one of my sides with a salad. And I don't like the dressing. Thank you. I don't like the dressing. But whatever. I, I don't want to be a nuisance and ask for a different dressing. And I got unsweet tea with strawberry lemonade. And I ordered the white fish. No, the tilapia and shrimp. Creamy tilapia and shrimp something. Whatever. I ordered that. I always try to go for the fish option because it's usually the lowest in calories. So I just got back home and I feel like I look really tired on here and I am. I'm really, really tired. But since I didn't get a workout in like I was supposed to, I'm going to do a dumbbell workout. I've been in the house for a few minutes, probably like 10, 20 minutes, and I have not sat down because I said, if I sit down, I'm not going to get back up. So I have not sat down since getting in the house. So I'm just going to try to 
get this workout out the way because I figure it's better for me to do the workout right now and do it halfway than to not work out at all today and that's what I'm going to try to go for I just feel like at least if I do something even if I'm so tired I can't do it full out at least I'm doing something at least I'm moving in some way so I'm going to do the workout if I'm tired doing it at least I'm doing it if I'm doing it halfway movements halfway motions at least I'm doing it you know that's better than just sitting around not doing anything so that's what I'm about to do I'm about to just do this workout I'll let y'all watch me but don't expect too much okay I am not feeling it today. <laughs> Let's go. She's tripping. Oh, Murphy. Oh, we doing four sets of these. All right, yeah, I'm just gonna do down, up. I don't feel like doing this, y'all. You're gonna do it when you don't feel like it. Okay? So, if you didn't work out today, and you know you're supposed to be working out today, go and do what you can. Even if it's half of what you usually do. It's not as fast as you usually go, as heavy as you usually go. Do something. Oh, it says halfway point. Okay, so I'm 60% done and I wanna stop. I wanna stop. So what I decided to do is skip this next set. Now I'm gonna skip the next two sets because I really just wanna quit. <laughs> But I'm trying not to quit, so I'm going to stop. I'm going to take a break. I'm going to take a break, but I'm not stopping the video to take a break because I probably will just not turn it back on. This is just something I'm like, okay, maybe if I just skip this next couple sets, I'll be okay to get back to it. All right, I'm going to do the last two sets. We're doing curtsy lunges. on the floor. Caroline, nobody told you to do all them burpees and all that. But you got it, girl. Caroline is taking it. She did that. Oh, I think she's cooling down, but I'll worry about that. I, I got that. I'll cool down on my own, y'all. About to have me a seat. Actually, I'm gonna take off. Oh, I can't take off my clothes. I'm still recording. <laughs> <laughs> I was ready to barrel. Oh my light up there. Y'all, honestly, I'm recording right now, so I don't know how much of that y'all saw. I don't know how much I edited out. Okay, y'all. I had thought I thought oh I was gonna do this and then try to see if I could get in the walking pad. That was my plan earlier until I just got so tired and I just was like, well, I'm gonna just do something, so that was my something. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> I'm done for the night. That was my something. So I'm going to go ahead, get in the shower, and lay down. It is Monday, better known as weigh-in day. I'm going to tell y'all what I did well and then tell y'all what I could have done better so let's start off with what I did well what I did well was push myself even in moments where I didn't feel like doing certain things I pushed myself to do it um so that's what I did well oh also I made good choices because I do feel like I went out to eat a lot this week and I do feel like I made good choices I don't even know if I told y'all about Monday. I didn't finish my food. I don't know if I told y'all that, but it was so salty. I just decided I wasn't going to eat any more of it. So I ate one of the lobster tails and didn't eat the rest of the food. When I went to Grits and Eggs, I 
didn't eat the rest of my food. I ate half a crab cake, the eggs, and the home fries, but I didn't eat the rest of the food because I have this thing now that I've implemented. It's called wasted calories. That's what I call it. Like, I'm not wasting calories. So, you know how people call things like empty calories. They're eating it, and it's not nutrient dense. So, yeah, you're getting calories, but they're empty. So, it's like, you know, eat something that is going to give you good calories, nutrients, nutrition, like, you know. Well, for me, I feel like I don't want to waste calories. So if I taste something and it's not good, I'm not going to keep eating it. Whereas in the past, I would have ate the food because it's on my plate and I don't want to waste it. So I'm going to eat it because that's what I ordered. I'm going to eat it. So now if it's not good, it's too salty, it's this, it's that, and I don't, I don't really want it, I don't eat it. So <laughs> I ate half the crab cake because I didn't like it. And then I didn't like the biscuit, so I didn't eat the biscuit. I ate the egg, the eggs were good, and the home fries. And I did eat a beignet. So, you know, that saved me a lot of calories that I probably would have eaten. But yeah, I didn't like it, so I didn't eat it. And then I gave the crab cakes to my mom, and she liked it. So that's what I've been doing. And then when we went to the restaurant yesterday, I did order the, the fish meal which I didn't really want that, but I ordered it because it was the best option on the menu and I did eat all of that, <laughs> but it was really good. It wasn't what I wanted, but it was really good. Um, so I did good when I ate out. What I could have done better at the beginning of the week, I do think my meal prep wasn't good. So I told y'all about the spinach dip pasta I made. I'm glad I didn't go through the whole process of giving y'all that recipe and like all that because I would have cut it out because don't make that. <laughs> I really do think when I did my midweek weigh-in and I saw that it looked like I was gaining weight maybe or like things just weren't, it didn't seem like I was on track. I really think it had to do with that pasta. But I see people do in their weight loss meal preps all the time. I think I'm just gonna try to stay away from cooking pasta. It's a lot of carbs, but it's just hard because it's the easiest thing to make for my family. I have a big family. So, you know, it's four kids, me and my husband and my mom. So, it's a lot. <laughs> and so that is just like the easiest thing I could make and we still have leftovers and it's like, it's just, you know, but I think for this journey and this process, I'm gonna have to really try to stay away from pasta. Or even if I make it for them, just have my own separate meals. I think when I think about it logically, yeah, maybe, if you're trying to lose a hundred pounds, you might have to cut out pasta. Like, duh. So, <laughs> no, maybe. I don't know. I did have an icy when I took my daughter to Sky Zone. I told y'all about that. And I told y'all that is my weakness. Icy's. And everybody else got an icy. And I wanted one too. So I got one. So, those are the things I can think of that I could have done better. I don't want to be too hard on myself because, y'all, guess what? I lost. 2.2 pounds yay <laughs> two pounds that's my goal every week my goal is always two pounds in the last couple weeks i don't feel like i really i've really you know was reaching that goal in the way that i needed to i only lost a pound last week so 2.2 pounds this week i'm back on track so let's keep this going i did well so i have to, i know i have to keep it in mind that i did well and not to lose momentum so yeah i'm so happy with that so now i'm down to 311.2 311.2 i think is where i'm at right now y'all i just i lost two pounds i'm at 311 i gotta stop doing the ounces because i cannot remember that i don't remember that part <laughs> and it's really not even that significant it's literally ounces so okay let's just say i lost two pounds and i'm down to 311 pounds and that feels really good. I'm so excited. I still feel like, I don't know, I guess it's because I see myself every day. I don't feel like I'm seeing that I've lost 16 pounds to this point. But maybe 16 pounds is not even that much, as much as it sounds like. So, yeah. <laughs> I guess on, on a body my size, you're not gonna see it as much as soon. But I do feel like I'm getting thinner this way. 
but I don't feel like I'm getting thinner this way. Y'all know what I'm saying? Like, that doesn't make sense. Like, I still feel like my stomach is still sticking out, but I feel like I'm getting thinner. Like, I'm coming in more. Like, my hips and stuff like that. So, that's cool. That's cool. That's cool. That's pretty much the only thing I see. I still feel like my face looks pretty big. I'm not seeing the um, loss in my face yet. Kind of. Kind of. I don't think it looks as puffy as it was looking it looks less puffy but i still feel like it still looks big i don't know how to explain it um my back is not getting smaller <laughs> not really i want to speed up that process find a way to speed that up which i know i need to start doing some strength training and stuff like that um, i have a dance class tonight i told y'all i'm pretty sure i told y'all i signed up for class pass and now i'm starting to feel like that was super impulsive and i don't want to do it i don't feel like doing the dance class i'd rather go play tennis and tonight would have been a great opportunity to go play tennis so i'm kind of like i kind of want to cancel the class but if i cancel i have to pay to cancel the class but i didn't pay for the class in the first place because it was a free trial of the class pass so i'm like mm, maybe i'll just cancel the class I don't know what I'm gonna do yet y'all we'll see cuz I'm ending this vlog here and I thank y'all so much for watching make sure y'all come back next week to see how I do next week love you bye